Uh, we do have the arrival of guests, but at the moment, the vice president has arrived, the Eagle Square, as well, along with uh, his wife for this uh, inauguration. Don't forget, yes, we'll be focusing on what is going on in Abuja. We'll also be touching on some of the states where they will be taking the oath of office. So there you see the vice president, president Professor Yemi Mashenka-Jorasi, and uh, arriving in the Eagle Square venue of today's inauguration. So, all right, so uh, we'll go to break and come back to this in a moment. But we'll do some images. along with the mass band on parade when His Excellency arrives. Uh, while we await the arrival of the special guest of honor, we want to briefly meet uh, the award-winning and folk music artist, simply known as Ronti, her stage name. She is Mrs. Ronti Ihimoya. Uh, prior to this time, she had distinct as a, a chemical engineer in the United States before her musical journey led her to perform across uh, Austria, Italy, North America, and now back home in Nigeria. In 2016, her debut folk recording, Iwekiko, won the award for the best alternative music video at uh, the Nigerian Music hello, hello, Video hello. Award. Hello. Mrs. Ronti Ihemoe will sing the national anthem along with the mass band on parade. At this juncture, the microphone swings over to my colleague at the announcer's desk, desk here, Captain Haruna Tagwai. Captain Tagwai, please. Thank you. you, Major Paul Labar, retired. Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, captains of industries, members of the diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen, may I quickly give a brief resume of the mounted troops that will Escort His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, into the Eagle Square. 
the mounted presidential guard troops being provided by the Nigeria police was established in July 1961. It's responsible for the provision of full ceremonial escort on horses for the president, commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, and other visiting head of states. Also, the revering officer will be ushered into the Eagle Square by the Nigerian police mounted troops and the Guards Brigade bagpipers. The employment of the bagpipers dates back to 1907 in Scotland, played to honor Her Royal Majesty, the Queen of England. The pipers were introduced into, the, into Nigeria by Major General H.M. Dazarma, the then Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy in 2007. Today on parade, we have the Guards Brigade bagpipers, which was introduced to Guards Brigade by the then Commander Guards Brigade, Major General B.M. Mungunu, now the National Security Advisor in 2009. But we can see the arrival of the presidential motorcade, so that's going to signal the beginning of that uh, particular event. But I, I think we we'll have to thank all of you gentlemen, uh, Professor Paul Omaji, Professor of Criminology, uh, Professor Mahmoud Hammond of History, and then we also did have uh, Mr. Habila Joshakuta, Deputy Inspector General of Police, all of them joining us from our studios in Abuja. But also in Abuja is what you see on the screen at the moment, the, the big day uh, for the next four years. This is the first of many days to come. So. That is the motorcade of the president. We're looking to see uh, what form or shape, what will he talk about in his big speech. We do remember somebody highlight of the last time out. I belong to what? Nobody? Everybody? Mm -hmm. Many remember that. You can't forget <laughs> and that. No, but, but what will we remember this for time? I've been for a while. I've been for a while. For a while? Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. So that's the venue. Yes, it's said to be low key. But my colleague started out, this <laughs> looks pretty impressive <laughs> to be called low-key, but yes, it's what it is. And so they'll be looking to see uh, what happens eventually. So it will be, it is a big day uh, today, generally, in Abuja and several other states, which we'll be looking to see what happens. What, what one can just hope for, I mean, this is a big day. People will be waiting for a big difference, a big change. A big next level since that is the campaign mantra. So, uh, what the, will this morning show the day? <laughs> and the morning show. Well, the well one, one, one notable thing though, it rained this morning in Abuja, and of course, you know, you remember like, uh, Larry uh, Naofe and uh, Ibrahim mentioning that. So, um, the elders blessing. say that when it's when the morning is cool. It's a sign of uh, something good to come. Well, yes, don't forget, the president did say in that interview yesterday that for those who were thinking that he was a bit uh, not so. moving fast enough for them, he said, don't worry, uh, I'll <laughs> surprise a few people. <laughs> He's going to look uh, maybe a little closer, if not with the financial storm, but what it, what's going on in some other areas. So it, it will be a lot to focus on this. The question of the economy, the question of security, anti-corruption, uh, agriculture, anti-corruption, and some of the ministers, former ministers now, until <laughs> who knows what happens in the days ahead. Uh -huh. So it will be a big day, really. You know, it, 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 what I am, I, I'm just really looking forward to a situation where people can do a lot of things on their own without necessarily waiting on government. But Prof, what are you looking forward to? More of this thing. Oh. <laughs> More of the same. Yes. We'll be back to square one. You no. don't I'm think there's going to be anything big? Nothing dramatic oh. can be expected of this president. Don't even he didn't in terms change of... his ministers for four years. That's ridiculous. And you go, 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 you go and play back my interview here four years ago when I complained about some of the names like Adamu Adamu, like Kemi Adioshu. I call this people. You play back our uh, interview in this same channel studio. Yeah. So it can't just become radical overnight and become dynamic. No. But he said it's going to change. No, it's there, an there aging man. been a paradigm <laughs> shift. No, I don't see it happen. That's just sophistry. No. 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 Okay, so uh, it's picking up now. I think I call it Zion and Bujo. It might as well just. Uh, uh, I have a word or two. What's going on?
the arrival of the special guest of honor, the reviewing officer, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, just been received there by the Commander Guards Brigade. He is accompanied by High Excellency Adia Muhammad Buhari. His Excellency exchanging pleasantries with the Vice President, the Senate President, the Speaker House of Representatives, His Honorable Lordship Chief Justice, the Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of the Air Staff, and the Inspector General of Police, also there, the Chief of the Naval Staff, and of course, the Chairman of uh, the Action Progressives Congress. You now move to the saluting days for the presidential salute, please. the National Mosque Abuja, Professor Shehu Galadanchi, and President, Christian Association of Nigeria, His Eminence, Reverend Dr. Samson Shupo. I hope you to please proceed and lead us in prayers. Yes, Your Eminence, please. Thank you.
Sovereign of the day of judgment, it is you and you alone that we worship. And you alone we ask for help. May the blessings of Allah continue to be upon his messenger, his servant, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the leader of all prophets and the messengers of Allah and also upon his family, his companions and all those that follow his guidance until the day of judgment. We thank Allah, the Most High, for bringing us to this day, the 29th of May, 2019. This day is a very special and remarkable day in the history of this nation because it is the day when His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari and the Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibwaju are taking oath for the second tenure of their democratically elected government. We pray that Allah the Most High who gives power to whom he wishes to bless our present and the vice president. In chapter 3, verse 26 of Al Quran Al Kareem, Allah the Most High says, قل اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تشاء وتعز من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير. Say, O oh Allah, owner of the power, you give power to whom you will, and you take power away from whom you will, you honor whom you will, you humble whom you will. We pray that God will continue to give President Muhammad Bahari good and sound health and long life, and continue to give him more wisdom, more courage, in more determination so that he will continue to lead us and bring more development and prosperity to this country and take us to the second level, to the next level. This country is still facing a number of challenges, security challenges, political economic and social challenges. May God help this country to deal decisively with all these challenges and find a lasting solution to them. 
May Allah continue to unite this country, but in peace, harmony, stability, tranquility, and prosperity to this country. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam takfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-fasirin. Allahumma aminna fi awtadina wa ansurna ala a'adaina wa a'adaik wa ala wa ala al-irhadiyin kullihim ajma'in innaka ala kulli shayin qadir wa bil ijabat al-hadir Allahumma khas biladana wa sa'ira bilad al-muslimin min kul su' min kul su'in wa makruh آخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم Shall we go to the Lord in prayer Eternal and everlasting Father This is the day that you have made We will rejoice and be glad in it Thank you for bringing Nigeria this day, an epoch-making day, a watershed in the history of our nation. Thank you because, Lord God, you did not allow the last elections to consume us or destroy our nation. Everlasting Father, since it has pleased thee to bring us to this day, to inaugurate for the second time the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari and Professor Yemi Osibaju. We pray, Eternal Father, that your abiding presence will be more visible in their lives and their activities all that you will call them to do will proceed from you and your grace will be sufficient for them to lead us through in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting living Father, who can lead a great people of yours like Nigeria, except you are with them. They need extraordinary wisdom that can only come from above. Everlasting Father, I pray that you will release your wisdom in a special way to them and the team that will be working with them so that Lord Nigeria might be able to witness prosperity, tranquility, O oh God, and that Nigeria might be the glory of Africa and not Africa alone, of the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. I pray, eternal Father, that you will grant them sound health to be able to carry out their duties, that nothing, O oh God, might fail in what you are committed to their hands to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, there wouldn't be need for leadership if there are no challenges. Everlasting God, we pray that you will give them the ability, the boldness, the grace, the audacity to face all the challenges in your name and in your power and to lead us, O oh God, to our paradise that we might be able to rejoice in you in the name of Jesus Christ. In this second time, O oh God, we pray that the joy of Nigerians shall know no bounds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Living Father, once again, we pray your peace will prevail in this country. Nigeria will not break into pieces. After a time, O oh God, the Bible records that you gave David peace on every side in his rule over the people of Israel. Living Father, I pray that in this second time, you will give our rulers peace over Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. All the challenges 
will be become things of the past in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because Nigeria shall rise above all the challenges and your grace shall be more evident. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name. Nigeria will not fail. Nigeria will not break. Nigeria will be stronger than ever before. Love will flow. Grace will flow. Oh God, there will be abundance of every good thing in this land so that many might love to come here and dwell here. To you be praises, to you be adoration. Take absolute control of every aspect of this inauguration so that after we have ended all things, we might give glory to your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you. The, we just had the opening prayers there. The Muslim and Christian opening prayers. And uh, right now we will be moving to the highlight of this ceremony. The ceremony. And um, just like to note that the first swearing in will take place that of Mr. Vice President, uh, followed by that of Mr. President. We now want to go into the next session. Also, first of all, to Larry, this event has kept to time. The President was here just before 10 o'clock. He took the salute. It's about 10 o'clock, and so far so good. Everything seems to be keeping to time. And that's, that's something remarkable. And I'd also like to say that the uh, weather took a slight change earlier on with a uh, light drizzle, but that seems to have faded out right now. Well, uh, we can see making um, our way to the podium. The register will be aiding in the swearing in ceremony. So everything is. Uh, been put in place now to commence the highlight of this event. Just box. My Lord, dear President, it is my singular honor and privilege to invite my Lord, the Acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tonko Mohammed, CFR, to the podium to perform the most important event of all events in this occasion. My Lord, sir, you are welcome. Chief Justice of Nigeria making his way to the podium. He has a very significant role to play in this ceremony. He makes his way up the podium now to take his position in readiness for the swearing-in ceremony. As His Lordship, the Acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, takes his seat, may I, at this juncture, very diligently and most respectfully request the Vice President of Nigeria, His Excellency Professor Yemi Oshibaju, GCON, SAN, accompanied by his amiable spouse, His Excellency Dolako Oshibaju, to the President for the saluting, I mean the oath taking ceremony, please. Thank you. Your hands together for His Excellency the Vice President, please. <laughs> it's a the Vice President and the Vice President elect. I'm not really clear when he becomes the Vice President elect. And he's 
to the vice president at this time? Well, he is the vice president and he's going to be sworn in again as the vice president. Uh, I, I, yes, he's so, also the vice president elect. Well, indeed, he is vice president and he is vice president elect. Uh, I don't think that there's any confusion there, Larry. Um, and I think it would just run smoothly one into the other, extending his tenure, or is it a new mandate being given now, being given for another four years? Um, now we're about to listen to him take the oath of office and be sworn in for another four years. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I will discharge my duties. I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. And in accordance. And in accordance with the Constitution. With the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law. And always. And always. In the interest, in the interest of the sovereignty, of the sovereignty, integrity, integrity, solidarity, solidarity, well-being, well-being, and the prosperity, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, of the Federal Republic of that, Nigeria, that I will strive, that I will strive to of uh, preserve, to preserve the fundamental objectives the fundamental objectives and directives of principles of state policy and directive principles of state policy contained in the constitution contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria of the federal republic of nigeria that i will not allow that i will not allow my personal interest my personal interest to influence to influence my official conduct my official conduct my official decisions my official decisions that i will to the best of my ability that i will to the best of my ability preserve preserve protect protect and defend the constitution and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria of the federal republic of nigeria that i will abide that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule to the constitution to the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria of the federal republic of nigeria that in all circumstances that in all circumstances i will do right i will do right to all manner of people to all manner of people according to law according to law without fear without fear or favor or favor affection or a ill will affection or ill will that i will not directly or indirectly 
that I will not directly or indirectly communicate, communicate or reveal to or any re person or reveal to any person any matter any matter which shall be brought under my consideration which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me or shall become known to me as vice president of the federal republic of nigeria as vice president of the federal republic of nigeria except as may be required except as may be required for the due discharge for of the my due duties for the due discharge of my duties as vice president as vice president so help me god so help me god Well, um, Malpe, here we have the um, vice president going through the last processes of the swearing-in ceremony. No, he definitely is no longer vice president-elect. He has taken the oath of office and has also taken the oath of allegiance and has now renewed his mandate for another four years. He is vice president for another four years until it expires on May 29, uh, 2000. The part in 2023. So here we have before us now Vice President Yemi Shibajo. Um, he's done his own part, he's taken his oath of office, and then we now have to wait for them to conclude this phase of the ceremony, the signing, and then it will be time for Mr. President himself. Signing the dotted lines. Signing the dotted lines. Thank you. <laughs> and and I, I think it's just a, a really lovely ceremony. The, uh, everything is going as one would want it to. The crowd is watching this very, very historic moment. You know, this will be the first time in Nigeria where we have another party you know, that came as an oppo opposition party continuing in office and holding and then being sworn in, which is historic for us in the history of Nigerian democracy. Well, I think Ibrahim did mention earlier that uh, members of the PDP had not been seen around, but uh, now you can see that it does indeed have a national feel. The Senate president, who is a prominent member of the opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, is present at the event. So also is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, who has also been seen. They were all on the line waiting to welcome the president. Um, and I think a statesmanship, that's how it ought to be. Uh, we're talking about democracy in action here. Uh, the people of Nigeria voted in a government um, it, the contentions might remain. They've taken the matter to court, which is where it ought to be. But today, 
is a day for the inauguration of a new government. And I think it's extremely important that parties set aside the differences. Remember also, when you listen very carefully to the words of the oath of office taken by the vice president, whom all elected officials, or, or which all elected officials also take, you see how weighty and how heavy those words are, that they must never allow personal interest affect how it is they carry out the duties in relation to the Constitution. And that's extremely important, Larry. The words taken, uh, the oath of office sworn to by elected public officials, are extremely important. And I think it's something that the Nigerian people can always hold the leader to account for. I think um, I got that same impression. And it hit me very hard as the ceremony was going on that the wardens were very, very well thought out. They, they had a lot of weight on them and, and it puts a lot of uh, responsibility on the shoulders of anyone who swears to that oath. Well, we have the Vice President coming in and he's been welcomed by party chieftains and um, those that are in the uh, VIP um, area, President there. President is still president, Alex Larry. <laughs> well, like you said, there's no gap. It's it's uh, he's the president. He is is now congratulating the vice president for now. What we'll expect in a moment from now, the president has already been invited. As you can hear, people in the state box are standing up there as the president has been invited to make his way to the podium to take his oath of office for another four years. It's now time the president leaves his seat, accompanied by his wife, makes his way out of the state box, and he's making his way to the podium. Please, cameraman, can you please allow, let's have some caution there, please, some decency, please, I beg you, please. Thank you. Well, you see the pleasantry has been exchanged there. The president about to take the oath of office accompanied by his wife, Aisha, for her. Oath of allegiance. I, I, Muhammad Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, and that I will preserve, protect, protect and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria so help me god so help me god oath of office of president i i muhammad buhari muhammad buhari do solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I will discharge my duties. I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability, faithfully, 
faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law and the law and always and always in the interest of the sovereignty in the interest of sovereignty integrity integrity solidarity solidarity well-being well-being and the prosperity and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will strive that I will strive to preserve to preserve the fundamental objectives the fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy and directive principles of state policy contained in the constitution contained in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Republic of Nigeria that I will not allow my personal interest that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct to influence my official conduct or my official decisions or my official decisions that I will to the best of my ability that I will to the best of my ability preserve preserve protect protect and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria that i will abide that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule to the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria to the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria that in all circumstances that in all circumstances i will do right i will do right to all manner of people to all manner of people according to law according to law without fear or favor without fear or favor affection or ill will affection or ill will that i will not that I will not directly or indirectly directly or indirectly communicate communicate or reveal to any person or reveal to any person any matter any matter which shall be brought under my consideration which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me or shall become known to me as president of the federal republic of nigeria as president of the federal republic of nigeria except as may be required except as may be required for due discharge for due discharge of my duties as president as my duties as president so help me god so help me god So, the President has been sworn in, second term, new mandate. I think members of the All Progressives Congress will say next level loading. The President took his oath of office at exactly 10.42 a.m. and now he's sitting to sign the dotted lines. I've always been a little curious as to what is actually written in the register, Larry. Uh, sadly, we can only see them signing those lines. And we wish we could actually get an overview of what's actually written in the book. For those that are not here, this is, uh, I'm, I'm really even impressed that we can get this short. It's not been easy. There's been a lot of um, arrangements as regards where uh, journalists should stay, how they should get close, how they shouldn't get uh, you know, to some level close to the uh, stand. But there we have the president. He's already um, been sworn in and um, he's just signing the 
like uh, Malkwe put it, the dotted lines. But after this, you know, we have still have some things coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to some part of it, the 21 gum salute. Well, one thing that is missing from this program, it might not be missing, it, this might just be an observation. I mean, it's not on the program normally after the president has signed the dotted lines. One of the things that Nigerians look forward to is a speech. But that is obviously not on this program. We will wait and see. We were not able to get any member of the team to find out if that was an omission or, or that was deliberate. Uh, but we will wait and see if either of the cases is the case and uh, whether the president will be addressing the nation. But next on the lineup is the lowering and hoisting of the national and defense flag, which is what uh, you will be seeing shortly after the president has completed signing those lines. Yes, then uh, I, I remember very clearly, Mark, we were here in uh, 2015 when the uh, president was sworn in for his first term. And um, you were talking about the, whether we'd have the speech or not. That speech was one that I remember uh, brought out those uh, words that seem to have struck with a lot of Nigerians. I belong to nobody. I belong to everybody. I, I, I think those are the words. <laughs> the iconic words. <laughs> they definitely will be around for a long time to come. I, I dare say even after the president um, has left office, it's definitely one phrase he'll be remembered for. Um, Looking also at uh, some highlights from 2015, if you were to look, look at the president's speech, uh, some people will think that you would still be, if indeed there's going to be a speech today, it's a, it's a big if, uh, we're waiting to see if that will happen. But four years ago, we did have a speech today, and I think it will serve a lot of Nigerians well to look at that speech. Perhaps there would still be uh, elements in that speech that they might want to recall today and maybe things to look forward to, promises that will be extended into this tenor. There you have it, President Mohamed Buhari, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, saluting and acknowledging chairs from Nigerians who have come to see him inaugurated today. Now to the next item. Of the national and defense flag.